um, Proverbs 16 and 32. Sixteen and thirty-two. Better a patient man than a warrior, a man who controls his temper, than one who takes a city. And my and my um reading it got wisdom is better than weapons of war. Man who controls his temper than one who takes a city. Although one who practices patience and self-control receives far less attention and a acclaim than a warrior who takes a city, he accomplished better things. That's good. See, he never heeded instruction. He his own son. Mm. Uh, he that refuses instruction despises his own son. He that don't want to be told what to do. He that don't want to be told what to do. You can't get on a job and not be told what to do out of the office. Yes, you can. You can't come in the church and not be told what to do. You can't come in doing what you want to do. Are you gonna be what? Out the door. You know. And you know what? And with that, and with that, get to the point now where God is not even letting the pastors worry about it. Because if you ain't doing what's right, you will get that period of conviction, and you will go on about your way. Because God ain't got time for that mess. So why should I have time for it? It's just like you know, I, you know, I say what I say. I gotta do what I gotta do. And if you get if you get a, 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 a angry about it, then so will. Mm -hmm. The Bible says it ain't wrong to be angry but sin not. Mm -hmm. If I say something to make you mad, maybe that might make you do what I tell you to do. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're good. Yeah. Well, God says it's better to be patient than powerful. Better to wait a minute. Have self better to be what? Patient. Than what? Than powerful. So that means that a position don't make you powerful. Mm -hmm. It ought to make you what? Patient. Patient. So you should get a position and then get the... <laughs> I just don't want to patient. Ever since we talked about patience, I have been struggling with patience. Patience is not... I, it's but the Bible says... Me, and I, but I'm dealing with it. But the Bible says the Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. That means that He's going to destroy you if you walk into your city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I say something? And this is something that I mean. I wish my wife was here to attend to this path. It does not matter to me if we don't get no more members. As long as y'all are living right. As long as y'all are doing right. Because see, here's the thing about living right. When you live right and do right, you do right by God and you do right by His house. That means when you got tired, you will pay them. I mean, you give them. When you got seeds, you'll sow them. When you got a service, you'll be here for them. It don't take a whole lot of people to see God. The Bible says when there's two or three touching the green on the same thing, you'll be in the midst. I, I am not calling on nothing. I'd rather have faithful people than have people faith. I'd rather have faithful people than have fake people. I put it to you like that. If I, if I know you're dealing with the issue, and I see you dealing with it, and you come and you still come and you trying to get it right, I can deal with you. But if you dealing with something and you act like you ain't dealing with nothing, it's all about you, then I can't deal with you because you're a hypocrite. Hypocrisy is not a God. Let's say living a lie. I mean, give me 15, 20 members, and Lord, we'll go. We'll take the word. I got a response the other day from that lady about us continually doing some things like they're going to get a committee now for the concerned citizens of Kingston and do certain things in certain areas and sit on the board and have a meeting. I didn't ask to go to the Alpha meeting too <coughs> at Monday meeting. Mm -hmm. So that, that has more of an impact on the community than sitting up in the church with 500 members and all of them living like the devil. See, I found out the other day that I, I didn't volunteer for this. I was asked to do this. 
Because Satan will step me in and say, well, you can trust that person. The woman didn't even know me doing that's a prayer warrior there. Then she said that. And the thing about it is, when you learn to follow instructions, I don't care who you hear, your life will be better. I'm not dealing with no whole mom. Because I know what kind of spirit that carries. Because if a man come in with that kind of spirit, it's going to run all the women out of the church exactly. and really want to seek God. We don't have that problem. Come on. It's done now. And I'm not going to allow it to come back. Mm. People waiting on me to say, well, where you at? Why you I ain't going to say nothing. You gone, you gone, you left. You left because you chose to. Self-conviction. You left because you want things to be a certain way and God said, no, it's either my way or the highway. So I don't care. I'm not being me. I'm concerned about Virginia. I'm concerned about Bible. I'm concerned about Mike. I'm concerned about Pig. I'm concerned about the land. I'm concerned about him. I'm concerned about the ones that want to walk upright. We got to twist. We want to. We want to. We want to shake hands with the devil. We want to walk with the devil and still say we love the Lord. The devil is alive. You can't do it. You can't serve two masters. You can't live like the devil all week long and expect to come in here and be an angel for God on Sunday. Feel an explosion. Oh, we might go through some struggles during the week. But when you admit that you, oh, come on now. Amen. When you admit, but then you walk around like it's all about you. Something wrong with that mental case. Something wrong in your mind if you think you can do what you want to and serve the God that I serve. You can't do what you want to and serve the God that I serve because the God that I serve is holy. Amen. Amen. I mean, I, I hope I'm the only one that ain't the only one here serving the holy God. The God that I serve is holy. Amen. And I ain't gonna compromise. That's Whether right. it be my mama, my sister, That's my brother, God. my cousin, my aunt, I'm not gonna compromise Amen. with the devil. I don't have time for it. Amen. Amen. Well, I ran with him for a long time. But he I didn't benefit from running with him. Mm. My benefit's coming now. You mean to tell me if it's raining on the outside and you got a place to go on the inside, you gonna stand out there in the rain? That's the same way with our spiritual life. Why are we gonna stay out there in the danger of a storm when God said, "Come on in"? I told you the other day the scripture that God gave me was in Luke 14 and 23. Go into the highway and the hedges and compel them to come in that it might be what? 